Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi, my name is Stacy. if you're new here. So for today's video, I have the Rose Quartz Palette by Huda Beauty. She's so beautiful. Let me open it up to show you. Oh yeah, also my hair is a little bit different today. I don't know if you guys noticed. This is because I just did a mermaid look for Halloween. It's on my Insta and my TikTok if you want to go check it out. I was going to film a YouTube video, but it kind of got messed up because of some technical difficulties. So yeah, I don't know how we feel about the hair because normally my natural hair is really straight. I don't know, well, what do we think? Leave a comment down below, but I digress. So today we're talking about the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette and I'm going to do a demo with three looks using the palette and then have some arm swatches and comparisons to the Mercury Retrograde palette. And then I'll kind of wrap up my final thoughts and review about it at the end. If that sounds good to you, then just keep on watching. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this because it really helps out my channel. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. So here she is, the Rose Quartz palette. Packaging is so beautiful. You can see it has like a iridescence in it. And obviously it has the Rose Quartz detailing. When you open it up, the inside is so beautiful too. So here are all the shades. The packaging itself, it has like these rose quartz white swirls within the packaging. Let's see in the back. How it has like these swirls that look like rose quartz. It's just so pretty and I love it. These cooler, more mauve tones are literally my colors. So for the first look, I'm gonna see if I can try to create like the warmest eye look out of this palette. So it's more like these top three and then maybe that shade on the bottom. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Gratitude. Looks like this. I'm gonna go into the shade Aura. So where the mattes are pretty pigmented, but they blend pretty smoothly. I'm just gonna blend them together. And then I'm gonna go in the sh with the shade Quartz. This warmer brown shade right here looks like this. Ooh, that's really pretty. It feels really nice and buttery, like when you swatch it. You can see here, it's not as brown as I thought. I don't know if you can see here. It's really pretty though. Honestly, everything blended out really nicely into like a wash. We're gonna go in with the shade Self Love. It's this other marble shade down here, and we'll see what it looks like when we swirl it. Ooh, looks like this. Looks like this on my hand when I rub it out. So yeah, it has like an iridescence to it. I'm just gonna tap some on the middle part of my eye. Okay, that's pretty. It just added kind of like a pinky iridescence. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add the same matte colors to my lower lash line. So that's Gratitude and Aura. Okay, I felt like the lighting was washing it out a bit, so I just closed my curtains. But I don't know if you can see here. It's just a very nice, soft shimmer. So I just finished this eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna add some mascara to finish this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back with the mascara on. So this is what the finished eye is looking like. I like that it turned out very natural looking. So yeah, just keep in mind that this is about the warmest eye that you're gonna get out of this palette. It kind of looks more peachy, I guess. Normally, I'm not a super big fan of warm tones, but it's not too warm or orange. It's still pretty neutral warm. So for the next look, I'm gonna try to go like the most cool toned route. There are some kind of taupey gray colors in this palette, like these, these. So we're gonna try to see what we can come up with. I'm gonna start off with Radiate, this taupey light color down here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but you see how like it looks super gray in the pan? But then on my eye, it's more like a cool tone brown. So honestly, don't be too afraid of these. Like if you have a lighter skin tone, cause it's not, it doesn't look gray at all. It's just a cooler tone brown. I don't know if you can see the difference like this versus my eyeball. But if you have a darker skin tone, I feel like it might look more like this, like a little bit ashy. Honestly, it definitely comes off more pigmented than it looks in the pan, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. I love colors like these. I'm gonna go in with the Precious shade right here. Honestly, it looks super similar to this Radiate shade, so we'll see. It just looks slightly darker and more gray, I think. So we'll see how it actually looks on the eyes. Oh yeah. This one's definitely way more pigmented and the gray undertone is a lot stronger. 
the other one, Ragey, is honestly more mauve -y. This one is definitely gray. Yeah, in the pan, they look similar. On the eyes, not so much. I'm just gonna work on blending it out. As I blend it out more though, it becomes more brown. Like when I first put it on, it was like purple gray. Now it's like a brown gray. It's interesting how the colors are like changing as I'm putting them on. I really like it. Okay, hmm, which one should we go into? There's Abundance and also Energized. Okay, I'm thinking of going in with Abundance, which is quite dark. I'm gonna put Abundance on the outer half just to kind of make a gradient, I guess, into the outer corner. Ooh, honestly, it's not as dark as it looks in the pan because it has like a lighter purple shift. Yeah, you can see like as I'm building it, like the purple shift is getting stronger. So it's becoming lighter almost. But you can see when I like over here, how it's dark in the like, outer corner. Interesting. I like how that all these colors have like weird shifts and they don't really look like how they might look in the pan. I personally think it makes it more interesting than like any other cool tone palette. Okay, so that's Abundance. And now we're gonna go in with Energized. What is this? More taupey, champagne shade. That's gonna be the main lip color. Ooh, that one is really strong. Like as soon as I put it on. It also came off kind of thick, but as you tap it out, it's fine. That one so far is the strongest. Like you can see how strong that shimmer is like compared to this one. Like this one's way more subtle. It's more like of a satin metallic and this one is like ba bam this is so fun i like finger painting i'm gonna go back in with radiate just to blend out the transition a little bit more so we don't like lose the transition color and i'm gonna add some more precious which is the darker version of radiate i really like how all the colors are like working together i mean as a palette should but so far it's looking so cute yeah and then i'm just gonna use the same matte shades again on the bottom lash line so radiate mauvey gray shade just all over the bottom a little bit of precious all the mattes are super smooth i really like them now i'm gonna go off camera and do the lashes and then i'll be right back okay so now i'm back with the cool toned eye as you can see here looks like this both of these are more like neutral eyes this is about like the warmest you can get from this palette and this is the coolest in terms of gray or taupe which one do you like better a warm tone eye or cool tone eye let me know down in the comments below but anyway so now i'm going to go remove these two different eyes and i'm going to come back and try to do the last look with both my eyes okay so now i'm back with all my eyes blank so i'm thinking of going into the more like purpley tones which is kind of the main theme of this palette i guess i'll start off with the lightest shade which is cherished okay so this shade is really light because i mean definitely added something but okay, i'm going in and not tapping off my brush looks like this and then just okay this shade is definitely going to be ashy on deeper skin tones because you can see it's lighter than my skin but just more purple but this is a really good like pinky purple transition shade for people with light skin just bear that in mind but yeah that color is really light i'm gonna mix in some of happiness which is this pinkier shade i'm just gonna brighten it up with some of happiness okay yeah this one's definitely i tap it off a little bit i'm gonna mix in some of serenity which is kind of like similar to happiness but it's even more cooler toned so i'm just gonna maybe do that towards the outer part i don't know if you can see that but yeah i added some like purple it's a little bit more muted than happiness happiness can be brighter if you build it up more but i wanted it to just mix in so i didn't really build it up interesting there's no like purpley toned darker like outer corner shade so i think i'm actually gonna go into cosmic love which is like this cool dark bluish purple duochrome i don't know it has a lot of colors in it actually it's one of the swirly ones see it looks like this Ooh, it's super iridescent i'm just gonna add that to the outer corner oh wow you can see the flip on that like it's super dark i haven't blended it yet but the flip is really strong it kind of reminds me of like butterfly wings you can see it's dark and then blue i'm just gonna continue blending this eye is gonna be a little bit dramatic i think but i just wanted to try all like the purpley colors but yeah i pretty much always use a finger with shimmers unless i have to be super accurate next we are gonna go to the next lightest one 
which is the shade Blissful. It's kind of like one of those blue-green duochromes. Again, it's very iridescent. It has like lots of different colors in it. Ooh, you can see how it's greener and then it goes to blue in the outer corner. It's looking really cool. Now I want to go into this color called Moon Magic. It's like a celestial looking iridescent shade. It's like pink, silver, blue. I don't know if I can show you the pink. All these iridescent shades are really hard to capture on camera. So it looks like this. Okay, so I put it in the inner corner, but it's kind of mixing with the other colors. Yeah, you can kind of see it here. I'd say the strongest reflect is actually blue. You can see here, but it's a lighter color and more iridescent than this cosmic love color. I'd say it's like one of those typical unicorn shades. But yeah, all of these are super shimmery and glisteny. Let's see, my eye looks like a butterfly wing or like a beetle wing. I do want to try this love stone shade which is the strange looking like Vaseline type with chunky pearls in it. So I'm gonna mix it up. It looks like this. This shade was the only shade in the palette like with that when I saw the pictures of the palette, I was like, I don't know if I like that. You can see it here. It's kind of like a gloss because it's clear like this, but then it's a, kind of like a duochrome bluish purplish shimmer, but you can't really see. Okay, so I'm gonna try to tap some very lightly and see what happens. Okay, I think that, yes, yeah, see, that definitely picked up the eyeshadow that I put down. So we're not gonna do that. Let's rewind. So I'm gonna go back in with Blissful, which was the main shade that it picked up. Yeah, you can see how there's like a hole in my eyeshadow. Um, this outer corner is fine. It's only where I put it and the inner corner is fine too. Yeah, literally right here, there's a gap. Okay, I'm just gonna tap some of Blissful back on. I think we can fix this. Ooh, honestly, it kind of made a tacky base for Blissful, which is actually helping the colors stick without fallout. Yeah, you can see. Okay, so the look was saved because that kind of scared me for a second. I've never had that happen before, but I've also never used an eye gloss. So I think if you want to use the shade, it's definitely too emollient to be used like on top of powder eyeshadow. I will maybe try to experiment with using it on top of creams to see if it could work with cream eyeshadows, or it may just be too emollient and you would just have to use that shade on its own, like without anything. But yeah, definitely that's a no on top of powder because that just completely removed everything. But now we're good. And that was like me tapping really lightly. Like I wasn't like rubbing it on my eye. I was just like tap, tap, tap. I was tapping my eyeshadow away. <laughs> I'm wondering if you could use like Love Stone as a base and then add like Moon Magic because they they have very similar. Yeah, you can see in the reflect how they look really similar actually because it's like a tacky base. I feel like it kind of acted as a glitter primer for the shimmer because you can see it made it really shiny. Okay, so now I'm just gonna finish up the bottom of my lash line. So we're gonna take, let's see, I guess happiness first this shade right here and a little bit of serenity right here okay so joy actually looks kind of deep in the pan but when you swatch it it looks like this yeah it's kind of like white as you can see here but with a strong pinky corally shift. Again, like there's so many iridescent shades in this. So actually I'm thinking maybe I will add some of joy to my inner corner. So yeah, you can see here how it's like a pinky iridescent shade. Ooh, maybe I'll add some more of the self-love shade just so we can see a little bit more of that as like a lower lash line highlight. Yeah, you can see right here. I'm popping right back in to do some shadow liner with the shade Mantra, which is kind of the darkest shade in the palette. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my lashes and then come be right back. Okay, so now I'm back with the eyes all done. What do we think? Yeah, 
You can see like as I turn my head, like the different colors are coming out. The colors that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. It kind of looks like a butterfly, unicorn, fairy um, spat all over my eyelids, but in a good way. <laughs> Obviously you don't have to combine like this many colors together like I did. I just wanted to try as many colors as possible on my eyes. It's very ethereal, like the whole vibe of the palette and everything. But I feel like all the looks I came up with were super cohesive. So that's a pretty good pro of this palette. So I'm gonna insert a clip of some swatches of the Rose Quartz palette. And I'll also have some comparison swatches to the Mercury Retrograde palette by Huda. And then after that, we'll jump into my final thoughts. I guess I'll just jump into my final thoughts. So first off, I love the packaging. Like this is just me in a palette, pink, purple, super like feminine and girly. And I love that the rose quartz is supposed to be like the love stone if you're into crystals. I don't know that much about crystals, but I like how it looks and I like the vibes of everything that it's supposed to embody. And then moving into the colors. So it's obviously a cooler tone palette. But as I've said before on my channel, I love neutral to cooler tones. As long as it's not like straight up silver. Taupes, mauves, pinks, purples, like I love them. So this palette I felt like was literally made for me as soon as I saw the promo photos. But as you saw, you can do some warmer looks especially like with this part of the palette. You can either go like the warmer browns here, and then you can also add some of the pinks, like some of the pinks are warmer, like these iridescent shades. But overall, it is a cool tone palette, so you wouldn't be buying it if you only like warm tones. As you can see from the swatches earlier, the vibes are quite similar to Mercury Retrograde, but I think most of the shades are pretty different. And if you have Mercury Retrograde, like I do, I feel like it's still a good addition if you are into these colors. The palette honestly was more like iridescent and ethereal than I thought. Most of the shimmers have flips to them that make them look quite different than they do in the pan. So that could be a good or bad thing, depends on what you like, but I still think it's pretty wearable. As you can see on my eyes, it is a little bit extra, but I would definitely wear this outside. And most of the mattes, as you can see, are neutrals. So that kind of like grounds the look. I was able to try every single color except Empowered, which is the darkest shimmer shade, which is kind of like the only color that's not really up my alley. But I feel like that would be really good for any like deep smoky eyes that you might want to do. The only dud that I tried was the Love Stone shade, which is like the Vaseline shade. Um, Yeah, I was kind of disappointed in it because it picked up all of my eyeshadow. I'll have to see if I can find ways to use it, as I said earlier, like as a shimmery eyeshadow base or just on its own or maybe with cream shadows, which I can try later. But yeah, so far that's the only dud. All of the other shimmers are really pretty. The mattes blend perfectly. Another thing I really like about the palette is that Huda always plays with different textures. So a lot of the metallics and shimmers are different from each other, just in terms of pigment, iridescence. Some are like smooth metallics, whereas others have kind of micro glitter shimmers in them and some are like really impactful whereas others are more smooth and then when you feel like the formula some are like more chunky some are smooth some are creamy some are dry i don't really think it's like an inconsistency i think it's actually like meant to be like that i just noticed that like huda likes to play with different textures a lot as you can see with the love stone shade which is the really vaseline shade and you know sometimes it doesn't work out but i feel like all the textures play really well together besides that one shade. I just like that Huda's kind of trying to spice things up for us a little compared to just any other neutral cool tone palette. I feel like that makes this palette kind of unique. Overall, I'm really happy with my purchase. I mean, I kind of knew going into it that I would like it because it's exactly like my shades and my whole aesthetic of doing makeup. Oh yeah, and this palette retails for $67, but with the Sephora sale coming up, you can get up to 20% off, which would be a good time to pick this up if you're interested. So that's about all my thoughts on the palette. Let me know down below which look was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked this video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this because it really helps out my channel. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!